Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how to extract values from an email using Power Automate. This is especially useful when you are trying to pull data from one system or pushing into another system, and you have no API to do this. You will find so many other uses for this flow, so knowing how to do this is going to add a lot of value to your team and company. Let's get started. We're going to create a new automated cloud flow. And let's call this extract text values from email. And our trigger is going to be when a new email arrives. Let's set up our trigger when a new email arrives. We can open the advanced options. And for testing purposes, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create an email in Outlook and I'm just gonna hit reply over and over again while I'm testing. And so initially for testing, you're gonna set up this flow in a similar fashion for testing. And then when you're ready to actually set the flow to go live, you'll change the uh, details of the trigger here. But for right now, I'm just going to set it so that it's to me and it's also from me. And then I'm also going to put in a subject filter. And because I'm constantly replying to this and I don't want to edit the subject of the email every time, I'm just going to make it RE and then the subject of the email, which in my case is a lab expiration reminder email. Now, our next step is going to be an HTML to text. This is a content conversion. And here it is, HTML to text. Now the content is going to be our dynamic content, which is the body of the email that we are receiving. So we'll go ahead and select body from our dynamic content list. Now we can add a new step. And our next step is going to be a compose. So a compose is a data operation. And in our compose, it's going to simply be the enter key. So we're going to put the cursor in the field and we're just going to hit the enter key once. And we're going to rename this action and call it enter key. Now we're going to add another compose step. Now for this, we're going to need to create an expression. So we click the expression tab and the expression is going to be a split. So we type in split, we put in our parentheses and the next we're going to put in body another parentheses, single quote, and HTML underscore to text, underscore to text. And then we need to add the outputs of our enter key action. So we enter enter key. And I'll put this expression in the description of the video. So now that we have our expression, we can click OK. Now, before we continue, we actually need to save and run this flow. So go ahead and click Save. And this is the part where you need to set up your email for testing. So I've got an email here that I'm going to send. So here's the uh, subject here. 
and this is from me to me. And what I have this information here for testing is I've got an email that I'm triggering from a system and I can populate that email from the system with wildcard information. So the actual text that is coming out of the system is name and then a wildcard for first and last name and then username and the wildcard for that username. So it's all dependent on who that email is being sent to from that system. So this is the details that I'm pulling in, the name, the username, the class name, and the person's organization. And so that information is always going to be different depending on who the email is sent to. Now, for this flow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this email and it's going to trigger our flow to run. And we're gonna be able to see what data it's extracting from that. So before we send this email, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here, make sure that I've saved. And we'll go back to the email and we will send it. So I'm gonna hit reply all for testing. And then I'm gonna delete all of this text here. And I'll go ahead and click send. And we'll wait for our flow to trigger. Okay, our flow succeeded. So before we go back to start editing again, what we need to do is open up this run history from our test. And we need to look at the outputs here. So let's open this split body text. And we can see that it's extracted the data from that email into the output here. So if I were to bring up this email here, we can see side by side that it has pulled everything in. And what I wanna point out, one thing I wanna point out is that this particular email that's coming out of our LMS system, it has this little banner here and Power Automate is extracting that banner details too. So you might have an email that's similar to that little caution banner, um, and in which case it's gonna push down the text that you're trying to extract, extract further down into the email. And that's totally fine, but that's just something to keep note of to account for when we're setting up our next step. So what we're looking at here is we want to extract the name. We want to extract all this data, but we're just going to extract the name um, for the rest of this example. And so what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at um, these as rows and I want to extract the, the name. And if you were to count these rows, you would see that the name is on the sixth row down. So if we count here, uh, the name is actually on the seventh row down, but we're counting the first row, starting with the caution here, as zero. So if we count down zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, then we see that the name here that I'm trying to extract and turn into a value is on the six, is actually on the sixth row. So keep that in mind as well. So now let's go back to continue editing on our flow. So the next thing we need to do is a new step and another compose action. We're gonna be making a lot of compose actions depending on how much data you have that you're trying to extract from the email. And we're gonna add another expression. So we'll click on expression. And the expression will start with last. And then we'll add our parentheses and then another split action. And then another split another parentheses, and it outputs parentheses. And we're going to call back to our split body text action. So split underscore body underscore text. We're going to close our 
are um, single parenth or single um, quote and then parentheses. And now here is where we need to insert the row. So what we do is we add a bracket, this bracket, and then we enter in our row with the numbers. So in my case, the name value that we're trying to create here is on row six. Now we're going to put in a comma And then what we want next is a single quote, a colon, and a space. And then we close it with a single quote and two parentheses. And then we click OK. Now let's go ahead and save that. And let's run it again to test it. So I'm going to go back to my email. And I'm going to hit the reply. And again, deleting all of this unnecessary text for testing. Everything else looks good and we click send. Go ahead and close this. Go back to our flow and wait for it to run. So we can see here that our flow ran and we're gonna go ahead and click into the run history. And we're gonna take a look at our compose and we can see that it did indeed pull in the name. So it extracted what the value on what was on row six and only what is followed after the colon and the space that are located right here after where it says name. So it pulled it in and now gives us the output of my name or the name found in the email. So what we can do is we can go back to edit again and we can start adding more compose actions and extracting more values using that same exact expression, but just changing the number as it relates to which row the value um, uh, the, which row that the value is that you're trying to extract. And of course, we, what we want to do is we want to rename this to, uh, we'll, we'll just call it compose and we'll call it name. And then you can continue doing that by naming um, these actions based on what value you, you are extracting. So the next one, if we go back to my email, the next one that I want to extract would be username and then class name on and on. Um, and then what you're able to do, if you want to, for example, let's say you want to send an email. You can use the values that you've extracted in the email. So I can say, hello, this is an email to the person uh, whose information I've extracted from the email. And I can use the dynamic content and I can select compose name outputs. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna um, put the name that I've extracted from the email into this new email that I'm going to send. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye-bye.